pedal nerds, I guess you are. I sound like Yoda. Pedal nerds, you are. Uh, tea, I know not coffee. It looks like piss, actually. Look at this stuff. Ew. Uh, bronchial something tea. Because I'm still coughing from the uh, China trade show. Some China bug. Ugh. China bug got me. Hey, it's December right now. You're seeing this in January, maybe even beginning of February. Because the amp that I'm pointing at right now, the Rocker 32, a full stereo tube amp, um, is right now, as of the filming of the video, still secret and uh, you can't know about it. But now that you're seeing it, you can know about it, otherwise you wouldn't be seeing it. <clears throat> but the amp is just the vehicle for the absolutely amazing Leslie. And I'm not talking about my Leslie, um, who is absolutely amazing. We love her whenever she makes her way, way into the videos and looks at me. In, with evil eyes. No, we're talking about a Leslie cabinet. Now, for those of you who don't know what a Leslie speaker slash cabinet is, it is the thing that was built for a Hammond B3. It's a big ass box. It has a horn in the top, might even be two horns, so high frequencies, and it spins. And on the outside, you can record that horn with two microphones, which means as it passes, you hear left, right, 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 okay? And if it goes really fast, it goes passing those mics. This is a very technical explanation. Of course, I'm showing you pictures right here. Um, and then at the bottom, there's a bass speaker, I don't know, 10 or 12 inch or whatever, pointed downwards, but uh, also with a cone thing with an opening and it rotates. And every time that opening is past the mic, you can hear it. So there's definite movement going on. The movement of the low end and the high end speaker, so the horn and the low end speaker, the bass speaker, can be different. They can be at different speeds. And the whole thing can have two different speeds, a slow speed for both and a fast speed for both. And now the question is, how long does it take to go from the slow speed to the fast speed? So it's woo, woo, woo. Here's the mic, okay? Woo, woo, woo. And then you hit faster and it doesn't go woo, woo, woo. Immediately it goes woo, 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 Okay? And of course, that is cool. Now when you're slowing it down again to go to the slow speed, it goes woo, 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 woo. Or you hit the stop button and it goes woo, woo. These are all very technical explanations of what a Leslie does. Now, the whole thing had an amplifier in it back in the day, and that amp was, uh, as far as I can tell, tubified. It was a tube amp because that's all they had. So, if it has tubes, we can distort it! Which is something we can do, yes. Um, those things are freaking expensive if you get an original, since it's a lot of mechanical stuff. You have to maintain it, which costs a shitload of money, and try to carry one. I actually see B3 players on stage with their B3 and their Leslie in small clubs. They need an army to get that stuff in there. It is ridiculous. Not on, it wasn't only for the B3. It sounds phenomenal on guitar. So in this video, we're not going to deal with the organ because you're not an organ player. You might be an organ donor. God, what a lame joke. Um, I will only show it for guitar because that's what we're dealing with. So I'm sorry, Neo Instruments. I think other people can show it much better on B3. I can play some organ, but still guitar. That's what we do. And yes, it works in mono. I'm not going to waste my time on it because stereo is where it's at. It works okay in mono. You don't get the swoosh swoosh. You only get the swoosh 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 swoosh. Not the swoosh 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 swoosh. If you know what I mean. So I'm going straight into the Rocker 32 with the famous Pantera 2 Master Build Custom Shop Murple. This is Murple and she's a beauty. We have single core sounds, which is what we're starting with in the neck position. Seema Duncan pickups, blah, 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 ratio tuners by GraphTech, all this stuff. Straight into the Rocker, into the ventilator in mono. Then we go out to the Strymon Big Sky for some reverb. Right now I'm staying traditional and I have a spring reverb set up. So, 
we have, let's go through the controls, because there's a shitload of possibilities on this box, which is, as far as I can tell, digital. Let me tell you something about the guy who's doing it. Guido Kirsch wants, I mean, that guy knows his shit when it comes to about, about analog modeling or virtual analog or whatever you want to call it, because he was one of the guys, together with Chris Kemper, as far as I can tell, please correct me if I'm wrong, uh, that was behind Access and the virus uh, um, synthesizers. I studied sound design at Berkeley. I know a little bit about twiddling knobs and synthesizers and nothing beat the warmth and fatness of uh, the virus. I had uh, the plugin on the power core and it was my go-to arpeggiated synthesizer. Uh, I have the highest respect for both of them. Chris Kemper uh, developed an amazing product for guitar. Uh, I think ethically it's wrong what people are doing with it, but that's not his fault. Or is it? I don't know. Uh, no, it's not. He could ask him not to do it. Anyway, the ethics behind the Kemper profiling amp are a problem, yet the man behind it and the technology is phenomenal, as is this. The technology behind the ventilator is... its It looks so analog, it looks so simple, uh, yet it's uh, an amazing digital machine, which sounds nowhere in any way close to what you think digital would sound like. What's cool is we have big-ass normal knobs, but you can't step on them because they're in this valley, in this nice groove here. Groove! So we have an on-off, we have a stop, which will stop the movement. We have a slow and fast setting. Okay, you can see the two, uh, that's, that's the uh, low and high speeds for the horn, uh, for the bass or the horn. We have a fast speed here, a balance between low and high, a drive, how much are you driving the tubes, and mix a distortion for the low and high separately. Right now I have it set up to guitar mode, which is when you hit bypass and slow fast, you can see these are flickering, and then you're on the second level of uh, controls. And in the mode, I set it all the way to the left, which means now we're in guitar setup. You can go to a guitar setup with more mids, but we already have quite a bit of mids uh, with this amp, so it's not necessary. So the second here is the slow speed, speed in French, the acceleration, how fast does it go up and down in the speed, remote, I have no idea, it, it has a remote input, let's not go there, uh, and level, so general output level. Here's my clean sound. <laughs> slow slow speed so let's fix this I push these two now I can set up the slow speed which I'm gonna set up all right there push them again now I can set up the high speed Now we're in slow again, so let's switch back and forth. We're going to go to humbucker mode. So balance, only the low end. And that would only be the horn. Let's get it in the middle. Let's check out the acceleration. So now it should accelerate, I don't know, slow or fast. I don't know what lift is. So it reacts really fast. It goes fast to slow and fast. What? 
So let's go see how slow it can go. Too slow and fast. It's very confusing. So we're also going to go into a center position here. Let's look at the drive. No drive. Obviously, we're not going to go into distortion territory, but it's beautiful. It's a nice drive. Makes it fatter, rounder. And if, if I push it a bit more, obviously, we're in the effects loop now. We are in the effects loop. What you do it is fucking fun it is so good it's just whoa <laughs> Now it sounds like only the high end gets swirlied. Now only the low end gets swirlied. You can set this puppy up in any way that you need. There's, I mean, everything is fully possible. This is so damn cool. I'm going to do this. Let's go into stops, let's see what stop does. A little bit of drive. We're gonna go fast. so damn cool um i think the drive is enough for vintage kind of applications to be enough as an as an overdrive i don't think you need more if you want to go classic and we're going to start it again <laughs> for um let's do this we're gonna turn <coughs> the reverb off actually let me just for fun show you this some crazy cool sounds with the uh, big sky coral which sounds like this <laughs> Very 
very pretty. So let's go to drive sounds. Which the rocker can do amazingly. Really, my two cents is very, very simple. Yes, it's not the most inexpensive box on the market. I actually don't quite know exactly what it costs, but I think it's over 300 bucks. Um, it is phenomenal. You can get exactly the kind of setting that you're looking for. With its three stompies, uh, three foot switches, you have um, access to everything you need. The remote allows you, of course, to do the slow fast. I don't know if you can do the stop, but you can definitely switch between slow and fast. And um, the amazing thing is, everything it touches gets warmer, rounder, more organic, more alive. Um, it feels like moss, if you know what I mean. Swampy kind of moss. You have these pristine guitar sounds. I mean, a very nice guitar. These, these very polished sounds. And this drags it through a nice warm, wet, swampy kind of a moss and makes everything thicker, chunkier, and more alive. So if you're in the market for Leslie sound, please check out the ventilator too by Neo um, Instruments. There's a smaller version, the Neo Mini, Neo something, I don't know, a smaller one with less options, but uh, if that's more in your price range, check that out. If you have a stereo setup, I highly recommend uh, looking into a Leslie for your setup, uh, even for guitar sounds. It is amazing. Actually, funny uh, anecdote, the Univibe, made big by Mr. Jimi Hendrix, uh, one of my favorite modulation effects, <coughs> was meant to actually be a Leslie simulator. It failed, it sucked as a Leslie, but it uh, became a great effect in its own. This right now is the Leslie to use. I have used the uh, um, the rotary, we also call them rotary effects, rotary in the uh, Strymon uh, Mobius, which is very, very nice. It doesn't quite get that kind of warmth and richness. Um, I have the one by Hot Tone, the Roto. Uh, sounds like a chorus, sounds nothing like a Leslie. Keep your hands off that Hot Tone, I'm sorry. The Roto did uh, did not convince me. And it's mono, it's very tough to do this effect convincingly in mono. Um, so, 
highly, highly recommended ventilator too. Thank you, Guido, for sending this over. Uh, I will treasure it. It's definitely one of my favorite boxes. See you guys. Uh, links below under the video. My Patreon link as well. If you want to support me, please do that. And all the Toman links that you need. Um, and that's it for me for today. What you got?